Hi everyone, so Prime Minister Lawrence Wong took to Parliament today to explain the consequences on Singapore arising from the Liberation Day tariffs that President Trump has imposed a few days or announced a few days ago. I fully agree with all the points that our Prime Minister has talked about in Parliament today. But I would like to offer three silver linings. Definitely, all this tariff nonsense going on in the world is not good for a trade-dependent Singapore economy. But I think there are three silver linings. Number one, although we are disappointed as FTA partner and close partner in so many ways with America that they hit us with a 10% tariff, and it seems unjustified. We, have a, we run a deficit, not a surplus, with trade deficit, not a surplus with US. But having said all this, uh, imagine President Trump is imposing a global tariff and Singapore is excluded. Imagine how that would make us look. Imagine how other countries would look at us. Consider that. So in a way, I think we just have to suck it up and uh, think ab about how we can proceed from here. Number two, the very fact that we, have, we are only imposed 10% and many other countries have much higher tariffs, actually, at the end of the day, everything is relative, right? So we are still relatively better off and I think there are still business opportunities. There are still ways that we can maneuver to bring back economic benefits to Singapore. So it very much depends on how creative we are and how skillful we are in the negotiation process, which I think our Ministry of Trade and Industry will have the work cut out for them. And I think they have good people there who will be skillful enough in navigating all these, including our ministers. Now, number three, I think this will also be a strong impetus for ASEAN for Asia to work closer together, for the economies to be more interconnected, to be more integrated, to promote freer trade, not just ASEAN, but ASEAN China and Asia in general. I think the rest of the world should band together, rally together to open up, achieve more trade and achieve more cross-border investments. And that way, they will be less dependent on the US, less beholden to the US, and the US will not be able to so easily hold us hostage. So these are my thoughts. Let me have your comments as well.